Right now, we are in the main room of Darkwood Manor. Uh, this is usually the first room of the haunted house, and usually where you get your story, or the setup for the story, is in this room. Welcome to Darkwood Manor. Enjoy the show. Each year at Darkwood, we change the theme up. We have a general backstory for Darkwood, like the Darkwood family built Darkwood Manor, and it just became like this beacon or haven of paranormal activity. So even though we do a different theme each year, most of the time it involves the Darkwood family. The basic preparation process is what I'll do is I'll come up with a story idea for the year. Uh, I'll start working on that during the winter months, and then in the spring we start doing construction. Probably around the first of the part of the summer, we start recruiting the actors. I learned a long time ago that it's actors that people come to see. I mean, I can create the most wonderful sets and cool animations and props, but it's the actors that sell the haunted house, and that really makes the haunted house. I start sculpting the mask probably about 2008, 2000, in 2007, uh, mainly because I couldn't find the kind of mask I was looking for especially because of the fact that we change our theme every year. You know, you, we're looking for new stuff every year. We've got some really cool new giant puppets. We also built a transparent uh, containment tank. So basically what it is, is a transparent television set that you can actually see through the screen. Uh, so it creates this illusion of depth that you can actually put the character into the, into the space. It's a really cool ghost effect. I can tell you why uh, haunted houses appeal to me regular, more than regular art does. If I put my paintings or sculptures in a gallery, people go to galleries and they, the reaction is like, I like this, this is cool. People go to a haunted house, they respond to your work very loudly, <laughs> you know? Uh, you get screams and laughter, you know, you know you've done your job, it's, they're enjoying it. And I want that visceral response, you know. You know, just like the gallery stuff was just a little bit too tame for me. I wanted people to like to really respond in one way or the other, whether they hated it or loved it, or it made them cry or scream, whatever. My advice to to art students or any anyone really is to keep your options open, um, explore things that explore things that challenge you. Don't close yourself off and think I'm going to do this. Um, because, you know, you might not end up doing that. I thought I was going to be a computer science man, and now I'm running the spook house, so. 